Well, the Jarmies are on, and we're in for a long night of job hunting. I still can't believe Blythe Spartan sacked us. Um, I know it was it was going wrong. It, it had early signs that it was going to go wrong, but I'm still gutted about it. But we've now got to move on and find our second club. Roll the titles. Is there going to be any titles? We haven't got a club. Ah, well, roll them anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 9 of season 1 of The Journeyman with Unemployed Joe. And today we are going to be trying to find another job uh, within the rules. <laughs> I checked Spenny Moore by the way, it is not closer than Blythe so I did start at the right team uh, so I can't even use that excuse. But uh, no, we've, uh, we're, we're picking up exactly where we did in the last episode. We've applied for a bunch of jobs. Uh, I mean, most of them we're not even going to have a, a a chance with, but maybe some of these uh, National League South ones we could perhaps look at. Um, Barrow, maybe, but I, I doubt they'd want us. Um, maybe in South Africa, if we're offered enough money, but why why would anybody want us i think the best bet is possibly clyde in um there we have already had some unsuccessful job applications such as blythe spartans um obviously <laughs> um hungerford town actually um the interview process is over barrow interview process is over so there is a few jobs out there that I believe we can get if we have a look at our profile. I mean, are we still going to be going through the coaching badges? I did just um, get some. Uh, well, I got the permission to do them um, from the board. So, I mean, there's just nothing there. So, uh, 2017 to 18, Blythe Spartans. Hopefully, that will not be the end of uh, the journey, man. But. We shall see, won't we? Uh, we'll continue on a bit and I'll see you guys if and when we get that interview. Well, guys, we have an interview with a team called Weldstone. Now, we'll just show you um, exactly where that is. Uh, oh, well, I was hoping I would. There we go. Um, so, here we go um, on the, the screen. As you can see, it's 274 miles away. Oops. Um, so it's a it's a big commitment. It's down in London, Weldstone. So <laughs> that's going to be quite a difficult job to get. But um, if we go back to Football Manager, um, yeah, it's it, it it's going to be difficult to to navigate me way there. But we'll attend the interview en anyway, and uh, we'll see what they have to offer. So we're glad to to get the chance. Um, uh, can't exactly say that, can I? Um, mm, there we go. We'll say that. Can you explain why? It, um, merely considering my options. Media controversy, citing your inability to cultivate a strong dressing room. Um, mm, Yes, <laughs> we'll just make promises that we probably can't true. We want to ensure. Uh, I'm extremely confident. Uh, I've had a good res relationship. We part of company with our last. Um, um, it's my intention to commit to a long and successful reign at the club. Uh, I'm a motivator. Come on. Yes, uh, a passing style, uh, I guess. Uh, no philosophies. Um, top half finish. Fair. Uh, we'll go for that. Uh, happy to work with the budget. Um, no other requests. We'll put my phone on do not disturb. <laughs> oh dear. We'll see if we get that job. Um, and I'll see you guys if, if we do. Um, if we get any more interviews I'm going to go and take them and then it, once we get approached for a job I'll let you guys know. 
Right, guys, I think we might have a job. We did get um, approached by Weld Stone, but I did delay uh, for a couple of weeks, and then Curzon Ashton job came available. Well, I mean, I've I've walked in a, a good job here. I think if <clears throat> if we can keep them up, we're gonna have ten games, and we're gonna be playing our old club Blythe in a sort of battle to stay up. It's going to be a tough one, but 10 games to save our career, really. £450 a week, that's more than we were earning at, Bri at Blythe. Curzon Ashton is actually on, on the drive to the missus's. Um, it's just outside Manchester. Uh, so Curzon Ashton is a perfect job for me. I can go and live at the missus' um, place. And, uh, yeah, well, I, can, I can bring in 450 quid a week. <sighs> and we can try, uh, endeavour to maintain a positive. Oh dear, that's that's tough. <laughs> the agreed promises, but we'll try our very, very, very best to stay there. And if we can stay there till the end of next season, maybe, um, then things are on the up again. So we're going to finalise the deal. Uh, we got offered the Clyde job as well, by the way, in Scotland, but they were only offering two hundred and ten pound a week. So financially, Curzon Ashton is the way to go. And that is exactly what we're going to do. If we'll ha we'll have a look at the squad when we actually take over Curzon Ashton. And well, we've moved clubs. I think that's a positive episode. It's only took us about a month to find another job. Um, we've got a very very threadbare uh, squad. There's any names that I recognise. Not particularly, to be honest with you. If we have a look at their schedule, um, they haven't won a lot of matches at all, only five all season, so it's going to be a tough job. I mean, they've got a lot of draws in there, a hell of a lot of draws, so if we can turn those draws into victories, I think we might be alright. We are playing Blythe Spartans in um, probably next episode. Um, well, no, it won't be next episode. Uh, so... Yeah, I think that is where we're going to leave it for today. Um, I'm going to go away, I'm going to get to know the squad, and then we'll come back tomorrow and we shall um, take on Nuneaton Town. Uh, we'll introduce the squad a little bit, introduce the tactic, and then the next match I think we're going to have to play Blythe, aren't we? So if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It honestly means the world to me. And for the channel, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.